Saw your car parked outside Laura Avery's house today. So? So what'd you talk about? Joy of motherhood? Maybe. You tell her I was the father? I don't think it's any of your business. It is my business. At least until we get rid of our little problem. I didn't tell Laura anything. I haven't told anyone. I think you should get one thing clear. I'm not having an abortion. I'm going to have our baby whether you like it or not. Person to person to Mr. Jeff Munson, 555-4400. Quite late. Like it's some dirty secret. Honey, it's for your sake to save the embarrassment when you have the abortion. I don't want an abortion. Chip, you may not be happy about this baby, but I am. CG, any other time, and I would really be delirious about this, but now... What's wrong with now? Lots of women have marriage and babies and careers. Here, you know what that is? That's the first two chapters of Val Ewing's new book. That's the key to our future, right there in your hands. Don't will promise me a partnership if I can deliver them. The key to our future? Yes, the key to our future. I've gotten your career started, now mine's just beginning. And I cannot afford to be saddled down with unnecessary responsibilities. Actually, if you really love me, you might understand that. Yeah, and if you really love me, you'd want this baby, and you wouldn't only want to talk about it when you're halfway out the door. Wish me luck. Yeah, sure. Lots of luck. How did it feel to you, C.G.? It feels all right. Uh, there's something in there that's bothering me, and I'm not quite sure what it is. Right. Uh, I think that synthesizer is too busy. Let's try it with just the rhythm track, okay? Okay. All right. Wait, wait, wait a minute. What's going on here? We are recording. And who the hell are you? Kenny, don't do this. Don't do what? Don't come here and make a scene. A scene? I thought I was producing this record. You quit. We hired another person. No, no, no. I didn't quit. We had a fight. Hey, Gary, what's going on here? You know damn good and well what's going no, on here. No, I you don't. out, I let you out. You made the decision. We had an argument. I said a couple of things I didn't mean. It's but... over, Kenny. You've been trying to do this all along, haven't you? You've been double dealing behind my back. Gary, you've been plotting Kenny, against me. Kenny, should... get the hell out of here. And you. This is exactly what you wanted from the start, isn't it? You no, brought it on yourself of... because you wanted everything your way. Well, no, this no, is no. what it no. got you. No, no, what you're saying is that your word doesn't mean anything. What I'm saying is that it's over with, don't no, you? No, look, man. Hold it. Wait a second. Come on, let me talk to you. Well, right, what do you want to do? Twist the knife a little more? Oh, come on. You okay? Yeah. Look, every once in a while, this kind of thing happens to everybody. Bad after all the excitement you two have had together. I know, but isn't that the way it always works out? I mean, you get your hopes up and you think everything's going to work out this time. Everything's going to be wonderful, and then something goes wrong. Oh, you're in such a gloomy mood. I'm just being realistic. I mean, things always go wrong in the end. You're too depressed, you know that? Okay, what are we going to do to cheer you up? Hmm? Why don't we go to a... Why don't we go to a dirty movie? <laughs> or we could go in the hot tub, we could pig out on pizza, or we could do all three. We will pig out in the hot tub, and then we'll go to a dirty movie. <laughs> 531 bucks on a health club. What do you do, lift gold bars? Oh, Richard. No, I mean, why can't you run around the block like everybody else in America? You seem to forget that I've gone back to work, and any money I make is mine to spend as I like. Oh, I see. I mean, all I hear is complaints about how I spend money. I mean, how I should scrimp and save and cut corners at the restaurant, and then you go out and you blow 500 bucks on something like this. I mean, you talk about a double standard. Oh, Richard, I'm going to take off. No, no, no. Look, there's no double standard. I mean, if you spent $1,500 on a case of truffles, you wouldn't bat an eye. So why can't I spend money on something that's important to me? For one thing, there's all that exercise equipment we bought two years ago. No, 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 no. You bought it two years ago, and that's where it is, in the basement where you left it untouched. Well, why can't you work out on that? Because I don't want to work out on that. I'll call you later. Stay. Look, what you're saying is that if I go out and I spend a little money on some exercise equipment, I don't use it all the time, that's a crime. But you go ahead and you spend 530 bucks on a health club that you never go to, that's perfectly okay. I signed up for it. I'm going to go. 
Look, I am just sick and tired of taking the rap for all the compulsive spending in this house when I'm not the one doing it. Look, if we girls want to spend a few bucks to keep our bodies in shape, I don't see what a difference few it makes. Bucks. Right, Fiji? Right, right. Uh, listen, I'll, I'll see myself. See what you've done? Yeah. Things are going so good for me, Siege. I got the job. I got you in place and Val in place. We're really on a roll, aren't we? Hey, what's the matter? What do you think? Siege, we can have 20 babies if you want, only not right now. Look, you know how important timing can be? It's everything. Having a baby now is bad timing. Easy Munson thinks he signed a hot number. Not just your voice, your whole look. The way you dress, your style, your body. Not some pregnant house route or waddle on stage. Not to mention, all the time you're going to have to take off after you have a baby just to get back in shape. Look, as your boyfriend, I'm telling you, We'll make other babies. As your manager, I'm telling you, if you have this baby now, you'll blow everything that you've been working for. You know my instincts for your good, so you should do yourself a favor and listen to what right, I'm telling okay, you. Right, okay, all right, fine. I'll do it. I just don't want to hear any more about it, okay? It seems so natural, you know, like you're so close to your child. Yeah, I'll tell you, it's one of the few parts of the day I really look forward to. You ever think about leaving Richard? You fight so much. Well, I left once, you know. Next time I leave, I have to make sure I'm not coming back. You could stay with me for a while. Oh, that's really sweet, but I don't think so. The kids really need a home. So you'd rather stay where you're unhappy? Well, for now, yeah. And once you have kids, they become a part of every decision you make. Your life is never the same, right? Do you ever resent that? Mm-mm. They give you so much pleasure that no matter what happens during the day, it's all worth it just to be with them. Mm. <laughs> I know how hard it was for you to make this decision. Believe me, it's the right thing. I'll make all the arrangements, so I'll make the appointment, and I'll be with you from the beginning to the end. I won't leave your side. I've changed my mind. It's not what I want anymore. What? I'm not having an abortion. You're not having an abortion? You're going to throw it all away, everything you've been working for? No, I'm going to have it all. Laura did it. Lots of women have. Damn it, this was decided. It is. I'm having the baby. Either with you or without you. And that's final? Final. <laughs> you scared me. What are you doing? I'm making some notes of Thornwell. I'm gonna get some publicity going full blast on this fabulous girl singer I know. Did you get the job with him? It's virtually in the bag. Thornwell's so high on me. I have a feeling this job is gonna put me right at the top of things. I'll be meeting people I once only dreamed about. That's great. I'm glad it's working out for you. Hey, hey, we're in a public place. Cool it. Oh, who's gonna tell on us? Well, Richard's in the kitchen. We have to watch ourselves. There's too much at stake here. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, this isn't funny. Don't laugh. This is terrible. Isn't she? Check out the part where she called Abby Cunningham the blonde witch. <laughs> Gigi, have you seen Abby? Oh, hi. Uh, no, I haven't. What's, uh, what's going on? Nothing. How you doing? Fine. What's everybody reading?
nothing. I mean, this paper's a sleazy scandal sheet. She's opened up my private life for everyone to see. It's bad enough she had to trash my family in her book. Now she's after me. Would you listen to me? Nobody believes How what they read. How could she do it? It's like picking a private sore in public. She was my wife. Gary, maybe she didn't do it. What are you talking about? She wrote the book. No, I don't know. I'm so sorry about all this. I wish there was something I could do. Yes, so do I. Hey, wait a minute. Why don't you, why don't you wait till you calm down a little? I don't want to calm down a little, all right? No one deserves that kind of humiliation, Chip. I, I don't know how you could do that. Look, look, I admit, I gave the pages to Thornwell, but it's not my fault that you turned them into that scandal sheet. If you hadn't taken them in the first place, it would have never happened. I told you, I'm taking care of it. I did it for us. So I could get the job with Thornwell. I did it because of the baby. Don't give me that. I know you don't want this baby. Hey, what's it to you anyway? Since when are you such a big Gary Ewing fan? You hurt him very badly. I told you it wasn't my fault. I'm taking care of this my own way. And if you ever tell anyone that it happened, I'll make sure that... Now, this is exactly the kind of thing I was talking about. The biggest day of your life, and you are about to blow. So getting me upset is not helping me. Anyway, when we get to the studio, I'll forget about any sickness or any problems, even with my manager. Are you ready? Anybody you wouldn't destroy? We've got to stop this! We're hurting people! We're ruining lives! All right, you. Uh, Did you get out wait, of here? Wait, don't hurt it! Wait. Shiji. I'm all right. Shiji, I'm sorry. I didn't, I'm okay. I didn't mean to. I'm okay. Yeah. yeah, I'm fine. No, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. It's all right. Come on. To do that. Shiji, are you okay? Let's go out here. Come I'm really sorry. It's all right. Yeah, I didn't... It's all right. Don't worry about it. You didn't hurt me. Listen, you've got to go back in there. You can't... It's okay. Don't wait for me. You... Stay away from him. I'm just trying to I help. know what you're trying to do, but you're not going to do Abby. it. Abby. We picked you up off the streets, and we can put you back there anytime we want. Abby. You may be sleeping with him, but... Abby, shut up. You shut up. You're drunk. You stay away from her. I understand why so many people are mad at me. Well, everybody's under a lot of pressure. Well, it's not just today. It seems like every time I turn around, somebody's coming down on me for something. You know, Kenny and Ginger and, and, and Richard, and now Abby. I don't understand. Oh, come on. I, I just think you're overreacting. She accused me of sleeping with Carrie. person I can turn to. Oh, come on, it's, it's not as bad as all that. <laughs> Gigi, what's the matter? How long have I been here? You don't remember? How long? 
Oh, you got here about two o'clock in the morning. You had some complicated theory about power and money, and you wanted to tell somebody before you forgot. You weren't making much sense. I didn't think you should drive. Thanks. Well, you really don't remember, do you? What's going on with you, Gear? I'm a drunk. Did you read the excerpts from Val's book? Um, yeah, but... You, uh... You got anything for this? Mm. I get mean, CG. I'll take... Comes up, that's all. How will it come up? Val will be here tonight with Munson. All you have to do is mention a, a few words how effective I've been as a publicist. You, you're already her publicist. Not exactly. If I don't bring Val to Thornwell, this job may go down the drain for me. No, I don't understand you. You told, you told me that you already have the job. I will have it if you help me. You want to use me to convince Val to let you use her. Uh -oh. This is where I get off. CG, just a few words. It'll help the both of us. Okay, fine. I'll help you. You want to know how? I'll help you clear the deck all together. You not only don't have the job with Thornwell, but you don't have me as a client anymore. CG. In fact, you know what else? I'll let you off the hook with the baby, too. You don't have to worry about it anymore. If worry was ever the right word. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What do you mean? Did you have it? No, I'm having the baby. I'm just, I'm just going to have it alone. You don't have to feel responsible anymore. Well, I've got news for you, honey. We have got a contract. I've earned my 25%. I put you here. Showcase at the wait hottest minute, nightstar in minute. town. Gary I signed you with the biggest record the company in the country. We didn't do any of those things. We have a contract. Oh, please, why don't you just take me to court? Let go of me. I won't let you do this. You're hurting me. I'm telling you not to do this. I'm not going to let you use me anymore. Going to AA. Oh, I was, I was, but they don't want you to drink there. Let, I mean, let's get you some coffee. I don't want any coffee. Gary, come here, Gary. Someone better go after him. He's going to kill somebody. You can't stop him. The guy is a drunk. Why do you care what happens to him? Because he came to me. So what? You've got to sing tonight. There are more important things than singing. Munson's gonna be here tonight. You've got a job to do. You just can't go chasing after every drunk that comes crying for you. Why don't you get out of here, please? You have nothing to do with me anymore. C.G., I still know what's best for you. You only know what's best for you. C.G. Oh, oh, I'm so glad you're here. What is it? Oh, Gary came in, and uh, he was drunk, and, and he saw Val, and he went storming out, and I'm really worried about him. Oh, come on. It's gonna be okay. I don't know. You should have seen his face. He really looked terrible. You're gonna make yourself crazy chasing after him. Won't do any good anyway. That's what I've been trying to tell her. Look, you just go out there and perform tonight and get your mind off of it. I don't know. We've all been through this with Gary before. The only way anyone can help him is if he wants to help himself. I just feel so bad for him. Would you mind leaving, please? I'd like to be alone with Laura. Oh, yeah. Sure. I brought you this for luck. Oh, thanks. Look, it's going to be okay. Oh, I don't know. You should have seen him. Hi, can I come in? Sure. Yeah, you, you left this uh, at the restaurant. I thought you might need it. Oh, well, um, actually, I left it there on purpose, but thanks anyway. Oh, I, I should have asked Laura. I mean, now that you two have gotten so chummy. Don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm, I'm all for friendships between women. Really. I mean, I know there are things that Laura can discuss with you that she just never could discuss with me. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I guess so. Like what? What do you mean, like what? Well, I mean, what are some of the things that that Laura can discuss with you that, that she can't discuss with me? Well, if she could discuss them with you, she'd discuss them with you. Why ask me? You two don't have any deep, dark secrets, do you? <laughs> no. What are you getting at? Well, when men get together, they talk about uh, politics and uh, sports and women. And when women get together, what do they talk about? Children, diapers, feelings, lipstick, white sails, men, what? Richard, what do you want? I'm on the outside looking in here. I, and no, no, nobody will just tell me what's going on. What do you mean going on? I'll see you tonight. There's just one thing I'd like to know before I go. What's that? 
Which one gets to be the man? making something real special in the kitchen. He wants you to taste it. He says it's delicious, and he specifically asked for you to taste it. Me? Yeah. I love musicians. <laughs> Listen, CG, about you and Gary. Oh, Abby, look. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Don't get upset. I know the rumors about you and he aren't true. You're much too smart to get involved in something so dangerous, so close to home. Your career's much too important to you for that, and you know how quickly I'd react. Quickly and creatively. You sound like God. <laughs> Except I enjoy revenge. I bet. You know me well enough to know I'm not fooling around. I don't promise anything I can't deliver. Look, Abby, if you're having a problem with Gary, I think you should talk to him I don't think you're it. listening to me. I'm telling you, if you do get involved with Gary, you're going to be very, very sorry. What is it with these people? You know, they drive me crazy. Abby, you wouldn't believe the things she said to me. I don't understand why everybody who's having a problem at home is taking it out on me. Richard actually went to your house to talk to you. I cannot believe it. Mm -hmm. He thinks there's something going on between us. Well, what did he say? He, uh, he wanted to know which one of us is the man. Ah, Richard would say that. You know, I kind of felt sorry for him. I'll leave it to Richard to think that if two women were having a relationship, one, of course, would have to pretend to be the man. You know, it's almost funny in a way. Richard thinks I'm sleeping with you, and Abby thinks I'm sleeping with Gary. <laughs> Sweetie, I'm really sorry you've got to go through all this. Uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> Hi, honey. How are you? Hi. Hey, have you seen the chart on Hole in My Heart? No, remember I gave it to you last night. Oh, I'll need it for the session later. Honey, I don't have it. I think I saw you give it to Chip. Yeah. All right, I'll see you later. Later. He's not. Can I give him a message for you? Well, it's kind of personal. Well, uh, why don't you just tell him that I think I've got Valine interested. He'll understand. Okay, I'll tell him. I know he's been concerned about it. He's got nothing to worry about anymore. He's got me now. Well, goodbye. home. Well, I see that. Well, don't worry. I'm not looking for company. I just came to grab some things I left. Fine, Tony. Chip Roberts, you must think we're all so stupid. 
I don't know what you're talking about. C.G., you can't lie to me. Where'd you get this? You been snooping through my things? I was looking for some music, and I found it in your briefcase. If you weren't so much in love with yourself, you wouldn't be carrying it with you all the time. This isn't true. <laughs> it truly isn't true. The story, I mean, it's true I'm wanted for this, but I never really heard her. She's some rich old lady, so used to getting everything she wants, and when I left her, she made up some crazy story about me. You know what it's like to start over? You know how hard it is to start over? Really, start over. I mean, new name, new city, new history. I thought I finally outran this. No, here it is again, screwing everything up, screwing us up. No, it didn't screw us up. We were screwed up before I knew anything about it. How do you think Diana Fairgate's gonna feel, hmm? What do you mean? She's in love with you. Is she in love with Chip or Tony? That guy doesn't exist anymore. I've been thinking, maybe we ought to have this baby, huh? I mean, maybe your outlook on life is better than mine. We could work together, we could travel, we could raise this kid. <laughs> You're incredible, you know what? I can't believe you think I'd still want to be with you. What do you mean? I wouldn't let you near my baby. Someone should tell everybody about you. I should be the one. I should tell Diana Fairgate and everybody else you've conned. Shut up. Telling anybody anything would be very stupid. 